Hello everyone, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It has been so long since I last vlogged that this just feels really weird, but I need to like get back into it because I miss YouTube and my life hasn't been very interesting for the past few weeks. I guess that's why I haven't vlogged, but also because I feel like I've just lost my YouTube mojo a little bit. But I think it's back because this week has been so busy and every single day I'm like, I'm really in the mood to film a video and I haven't done it yet because I've been super busy all week, but I am hopefully gonna get back on it next week. Anyway, um, um, I am super dressed up as you can see because I've just got ready I'm waiting for Jas actually which is the first um we are going to my cousin's wedding reception tonight and it's at the Connaught Rooms in Covent Garden which should be very nice when I was at uni we used to have a ball there every single year so I have been there I don't remember that much about the place because we used to get very drunk but I do remember that it is fancy AF um so we're just getting ready to go we're gonna call an uber and hopefully we should be there on time but i thought i'd bring the camera with me take you guys with me this evening and yeah just show you what i'm up to this weekend because it is a very busy one. <laughs> oh my god that was such a rush we literally got back from my uncle's house from lunch and we had about 15 minutes to like quickly get ready but luckily i'd like done my base makeup and most of my makeup apart from my eyes and my lips um this morning so i've had it on all day i just topped it up with loads of glitter lashes and lipstick but we're now in an uber on our way to the wedding and i'm very excited to see everyone are you yeah i'm good look at how dapper he looks <laughs> look at are you turning your blazer <laughs> you i hate how easy it is for men like he literally just walked into one shop i found this blazer for him it was on sale there's only one left and it was his size and it was perfect <laughs> he looks so good with white hair he looks like he's cute up my screen like a silver fox You'd actually look really good with my hair. Yeah, thanks. Send it to me. Send, send it to me. I'm gonna post up my story. Anyway, um, I think we should like we're gonna be there in like 45 minutes or so, which is not bad. I'm really thirsty. It's nice and cool in here, but I really hope it's not quite inside the venue because I will cry and I don't have my portable fan with me.
I'm so tired, my makeup is such a mess as well. All this lighting is not doing me any favours. The one thing that I love at wedding receptions is the music, especially if it's Bangra, because I absolutely love that. But I was just really waiting for the music and then it was just like, oh, here's another performance. And then they had like somebody in the family like doing a dance performance and somebody like, I'm trying to put these lashes back, sorry. Oh, I'm not even drunk by the way, like, ugh. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, but yeah, somebody was doing a dance performance, which is one of those things. And it got to like 11 o'clock and like finally between the speeches, Jess and I kind of ran out just to like call a taxi and see how much it would be compared to an Uber. And it was pretty much the same. So we're like, sod it, just get an Uber, just leave. I text everyone saying I was leaving, which was a bit of a bad exit, but like, it's so late we're so tired and it was just so hot like i feel like my hair's all like wet from sweating everywhere my makeup is like not even like it's non-existent i had loads of contour and stuff on and now like i don't know what's happened to it and i've just taken my lashes off by the way just really randomly um i wore these eyelure pre-glued exaggerate lashes this evening and it's the first time i've worn the exaggerate ones this is what they look like from past experience I don't think that the pre-glued glue will last a second time, but I really, really like them. They're very natural, they're very wispy. But yeah, that was just a little side note. I'm gonna take my makeup off now. The reason we came home early, because we have to be up early tomorrow morning at 7 p.m., no, a.m. My cousin Anusha, it was her 16th birthday back in May, and as a family, like my parents, my sister, Jas and I and whatever, we got her an experience, a Yo Sushi, sushi making masterclass thingy and we booked it for this sunday and they only do like these classes like 10 till 12 on a sunday and so they are coming to us for 9 a.m and we're going to make sushi so yeah i'm gonna go take my makeup off instead of just staring at all this makeup laid out in front of me maybe have a little bit of cereal to eat because let's face it that is the best midnight snack and then i'm gonna go to bed so i will see you bright early tomorrow morning um and i'm very excited to be making sushi because oh i just love it i don't even know how we're awake this morning i'm so tired hi guys <laughs> these guys actually turned up bang on time at 9 a.m we had like some overnight oats for breakfast and now we're taking anita for her birthday surprise Yay! we're actually running really late need to go left here um we're going to break <laughs> shopping center but the actual place doesn't open till midday and we're supposed to be there before 10 a.m it is now 10 a.m oh 10 a.m actually that's not too bad what is uh, late quite late that's what we get for 10 a.m no, i thought we'd be here for like half past what or something um so we have to like call them to let us in but she literally has no idea i have no idea <laughs> i got her actually i'll tell you guys later because um we are almost here now so yeah i'm very excited for this i wish i was just a bit more awake you know I feel like I've been on a terrible night out and I'm like hungover, but I'm not because I wasn't even drunk last night. I just hardly had any sleep. So yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, random. Yeah. It's kind of really weird because I haven't been to it We're doing some returns, basically. I can't even think. Yeah, we're seeing some like clothes shopping, returning. Just return a few things to take along with us. So this place doesn't open till midday, but you have to go two hours before. Yeah. That's weird. You did a bit of work experience. What is this? Work experience, yeah. Beyond the scenes. Just we're clean, yeah, right. We're cleaning the shopping centre. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Before the public get here. She did guess it last night, and I was like, oh no crap. I was like, no, we're not making sushi. I'm so excited. This is so exciting. I'm really excited too. I'm so excited. It's so exciting because this whole place isn't even open. We've just snuck in the back door through the kitchen, and it's just the four of us here, which is even better, right? I know, I think they've set it all up for us. I think they've set it all up for us so nicely as well. Oh, this is so nice Oh, you guys are so cute. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's so excited. She was like, maybe after this I can work here. <laughs> This is the sushi I made. We made like loads more, but we had to eat it straight away. We had to, <laughs> such a chore. But yeah, this is like so cool. It's such a skill. Um, she was obviously the star of the show. He was just like the guy was like really good. He was like, well done, you're doing a great job. I was like, you can give her a big head. <laughs> Like, it already has How did you guys find it? It was amazing. Thank you so much. They had no idea. So basically, you see she do this drink called Marble Soda. And it's a really weird concept. It's like a Japanese drink. And Anusha first introduced me to it. So if I bought this as a gift voucher, I went to like an Asian supermarket and I found this Marble Soda in three different flavours. So I packaged it up in a box, put a card in it, saying this is your clue, it's what your birthday gift is. Serena was like, oh my god, we're going to Japan. And I was like, I wish we were going to Japan. And they both had no idea, like I really thought we would give it away. Well, I um, Yes, okay. Last night she did say, is it like a sushi making class? I was like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> no, but she gave such a good face that I literally was like, it's not. Yeah. Also, she was like, we can't wear open toe shoes. So I was like, why would we get able to wear open toe shoes to a sushi making class? <laughs> they were like, are you taking us to work? But actually, it just said on the thing, we can't wear like open toe shoes. Um, I guess we should drop a knife or something, but that was it. <laughs> it's a little beach at Brent Cross. Um, that we've wanted to check out for years, but we never have. And we thought we'd do it today. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of chilly, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just that. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Um, we're going to go check it out and hope it doesn't rain because I think it's started spitting already. Yeah. back on the road again. <laughs> we didn't go to the beach at Brent Cross by the way because it was like three pounds to get in and none of, none of us actually like 
do rides and all there really was was just rides a fake little beach bit but we thought it was going to rain and I don't know it didn't really seem worth paying like three pounds to get in just to sit on a fake little beach bit when it wasn't even really warm outside um and they have a bar so it might be quite nice to go in the evening one day actually because it's open till 9 p.m yeah that'll be fine yeah I think so but now I've got a new driver today Serena is driving us to M&S at my favourite supermarket at the moment we're just going to grab a few like picky bits for like a late lunch olives, slash snack salad yeah like olives salady bits some nice bread olive tapenade I don't know just stuff you know um, so we're going to go and do that right. oh um, at the round it's the second exit sorry let me know if I'm on your way <laughs> and she's the DJ of course of course. As per usual. But yeah, we're going to grab some food and head back home and then see what we do from there, basically. <laughs> we have just not, well, I have <laughs> just knocked up a feast. Check this out. This is like my favourite sandwich from M&S. It's brie and grape. We've got baguette, uh, mozzarella, what's it called? Yeah, <laughs> Cherry yeah. tomatoes in basil pesto. pesto, olives, butter, cucumber, mm more olives, Moroccan couscous salad that I've just added artichokes and spinach to, crisps, which are these, the best ones that m and do, and I picked this up because apparently it's meant to be like an Aperol spritz wannabe, so of course I wanted to try it. So yeah, oh, and we've got these um, corn chicken slices as well. Ta-da! Do you want me to put it in for you? Yeah. This lighting is doing me no favours, but I've just realised I forgot to end my vlog and it's now gone 10.30. My cousins have literally just left and gone home. They were here for like 14 hours and we had a super long day, but it was really fun and um, sushi making was so great. It was such a nice way to spend a Sunday morning. Anyway, oh, let me, my battery's going to die actually, but really quickly. Um, we tried these aperitivo spritzes from M&S and they don't really taste of Aperol, but they're quite a nice like alternative if you really want like... If you're like craving an Aperol, but you don't want to like crack open a bottle of Prosecco. Um, so yeah, pretty good for like £1.50. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you very soon with a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.